Hello, George. Hey guys, what are you up to today? Um, I am just, I'm actually, I'm watching Tribal Tech. So anyway, today is a new base amp day. I've been sent a brand new base amp uh, from one of my favorite base amp manufacturers. Um, I thought I'd take you guys to the studio with me and also I thought I'd talk about how to set your base EQ up correctly because if you're anything like me, Oh, red Christmas tree with no decorations on. The decorations are coming, right? So if you're anything like me, when I was kind of starting out, or even past when I was just starting out, I was just a little bit confused about what to do with bass EQ and, you know, and just, you know, well, there's a lot of different options. And uh, so today we're gonna to be talking about that. I'm gonna be t telling you my take on it and giving you a few tips along the way. Georgie, no, 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 no. Eating the cat food. I should also, there's George by the way. Here he is. George, come on. Good boy. I should also say we've got a brand new addition to the family. We've got obviously a lot of you guys know that we moved into this new house. The, the house came with a cat. And the, uh, it's a feral cat, but it lives within the, oh, and she's just woken up. Look, there she is. A uh, story my little boy has called her Kambuna, and she's just, was, see, she kind of lives under the, See under the shed here. Now I did make her a little box because I feel guilty about her sleeping outside. We've been um, we've been feeding her and because uh, obviously the, the old guys moved out and they said, oh by the way, the, the house comes with a with a cat. So um, I'm not too fussed, you know. I kind of like cats. So the cool thing about the new house is that it's in this crazy place. It's, it's in the middle of the woods. If I take it to the right here, you'll see it's just, it is literally the woods. The reason why I'm geeking out on Gary Willis, so obviously you saw earlier, I've been watching him on YouTube, is because last week I spent the entire week with Gary, all five days. We had him in the studio doing some, we did two, two, well, we did one course for the academy and then we did this massive thing that I'll tell you about in one second. We had Gergo Borlai, we had, which is one of the, craziest awesomest drummers in the world um, we had a full video crew in there and it kind of was born out of the conversation of like Gary has you know he's been doing live seminars for Scott Space Lessons for a while now we were having a conversation a few weeks back and Gary was saying you know like he loves doing the books that he's done in the past but he really wanted to create a he really wanted to create a, an educational program that kind of encapsulates all of his books and everything you know all in one kind of package and and I was like well we'll do it with you we'll do it with you we've got experience in creating um, video educational products and Gary was essentially super on board with it so that's what we were doing last week we were creating this master's course with Gary and the course for the account we recorded over 10 hours of content for this thing that's how huge it is it's just i think it's probably one of the best things we've in fact it's probably the best thing we've ever done to date and um and i think it's really been great to benchmark that and um and add that to what we do um you guys are gonna freak out when you see this stuff it's just it's really taken what we do to, to that next level again pushing base education as far as we can online and creating as much awesome stuff for you guys as we as we can possibly do Oh, it's cold over here in the UK, guys, at the minute. Oh, it is up, up north. Winter's coming. Let me just get some lights on. Let me just put you down, I'll grab the box. Hello, George. Okie dokie. Stuff. More stuff. Even more stuff. This amp is a van der Clay. It's got rack ears in there, so you can stick it in a rack. Obviously I'm going to show you guys what it sounds like, but it does come in this sexy little packet. Let me just... It comes in this cool little... The old one that they used to do, which is... So this is the one that I used before. Very, very cool amp. This is the new one, which comes in a bag instead of a case, so that's pretty cool. Let's have a look in, see if anything's... So, so 
So that's it. Wow, so it's like, I think it's, a, let's have a look at it and see if it's smaller than the, so it is, yeah, so it's smaller than the other one. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm all up for small amps. Like, and I can't say enough cool things about the guy, Mark, Mark Vanderclay, who makes these. He is such a dude. Really, really talented amp maker and a badass bass player as well. Win! It looks like Mark has taken some features out from the original. I'm assuming that it is because feedback from uh, you know, Mark's players, like Mark's really into going to gigs. He always goes to his artist gigs. Um, he's always like posting stuff on Instagram and Facebook of him at the gigs and stuff. So I know he has a lot of contact with the artists that uses his amps. So I'm assuming that the feet, he's taken out the features that weren't being used to cut down the sides of the actual amp and make it more compact. Smart move. Okay, so let's plug it in and then we're going to talk about EQ. <laughs> Hi diddly dee, an actor's left for me. One, two, two, yes. Can you see the amp? Okay, so I've got to say, I've just tried out this thing. It is insanely cool and insanely powerful as well. Like EQ on it is great. We're going to talk about that in a minute. And uh, yeah, just a badass amp. So if you do uh, want to go and uh, check out Van der Klei amps, I really recommend them. They are, I've like used, used them for uh, six years, I would say. So yeah, super cool. Now, let's talk about EQ because it really confused me um, when I began not only um, bass playing but guitar playing as well. I can remember going through the old, from them old magazines like Guitarist Magazine and stuff and they used to have people's EQ settings inside. It was like, you know, Alan Holdsworth, I can remember reading his, it was Alan Holdsworth had his EQ set like this and I was like geeking out on it. Why don't they do that for bass players? Man, I would love that. Anyway, I can tell you my EQ and then I'll also tell you like default EQ and I think it's really important that everybody has like a default EQ and then I'm gonna talk about how much um, you should mess around with your EQ as well. So let's get into it. So when it comes to EQ, the, the kind of big mistakes that I see people making time and time again is just like overcooking it and doing like extreme stuff, like way too much treble, <laughs> way too much bass. And what I would, in fact, let me tell you, before we look at my default setting of like, and I mean default setting as in like when I plug into an amp, I do something straight away that kind of like, I know that that's my like home base. And I do this a lot, actually. Like, I even do it in restaurants, right? If I'm going to a, you know, a pizza restaurant, I know what my default choice is. I might look at other choices, but I know what my default is. Same with all, you know. Yeah. Anyway, before I start rambling on, I'm going to just show you guys what you should start with, and then we can take it from there. So here's the deal. When you first get your amp if you've never played it before or anything like that before you start boosting any crazy trebles or anything set it flat that means come here like it means this like everything at 12 o'clock except the volume take it easy on the volume so everything if you can see here i've got the low the low mid mid high mid high all on 12 o'clock I'll talk about what these do in a minute as well, because some of you might not know what low and high mid are. Set it flat. Then that's going to give you like a blank canvas to kind of like dial your EQ in. Okay, so just so you guys can hear this, let me just play. Okay, so... That's what it sounds like on the, the flat setting. A lot of bass players, a lot of pro players will leave it like that. They will leave it like that. I know many, many pro players that just plug into their, their amp flat. 
so much tone comes from your fingers, right? So don't be disillusioned into the vibe that the EQ is going to fix stuff because it isn't, you know, the tone comes from you, then it, you know, goes into the amp and, and all of those shenanigans, right? My default, so this is my default when I plug into an amp, is I boost the lows a little bit. I'm just going to, let me just do that. I'm not, you probably have to listen to this on headphones, but it's just a little bit of that bottom end coming in, like low bottom. And then the high, the treble, okay, I dial it back a little bit, okay? So I've got the low on probably like 1, 130, and then I've got the highs, the trebles, on about i would say 11 o'clock just to, i don't like that 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 thing that trebly thing so just a snadge right whatever snadge is okay so that's what i'm going for now in certain circumstances, I might boost the low mids as well. If I'm having a hard time in the mix and I just can't hear, my, hear myself, like the low mids just give you that frequency. It's gonna help just cut through a little bit in the mix when the band's going crazy right so that is like i'm going to just dial them below mid back to 12 o'clock there that is my default okay uh, you guys if you haven't even got a default yet just let's get it at 12 o'clock first and then take it from there but be super sensitive with it don't like crank the bait like don't crank the bass up to 12 just you know dial it in and get really used to it when you feel it Pushing that low end until you can kind of feel it more than hear it. It's 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 kind of like subliminal, but not, if you know what I mean. It's weird. With the high, again, like you don't have to cut it. That's a personal preference for me. Um, you can boost it a little bit if, it, if that's your preference, but don't crank it. There's so many students that I used to sit down, when I used to like teach people one-to-one, -one, I'd sit down, I'd like look at their EQ and I'd be like, wow. What's going on there? And again, like a lot of people like are in the academy, which is the thing I do at Scott's Bass Lessons. It's our online platform where we do courses. Um, we release a brand new course every month and people can send me videos for me to review every single month. We do like a student review masterclass where I re review them and give them video feedback. So in, in that environment, uh, again, I hear some cr like some... It's not everybody, but there's definitely some students where I'm asking them to sort of like look at their EQ. It just sounds a bit crazy. I say, so dial things back, get yourself a blank canvas, and then add things in like you'd add spice to food, right? If you're into, you know, the slap thing, then you might want to dial back the mids slightly. You might want to scoop the mids. You could look at the mid or you could look at the high mid and get a mix of, of, of what you're in terms of like taking out what you're dialing out, right? What you're, what you're cutting in the mids, that'll give you a cool slap sound, but you don't have to go crazy. It shouldn't be, um, it shouldn't be crazy. There's sometimes a bit too much thought about this and this and gear instead of these, because it's these that make the difference, right? This and this, yeah, they help, but it's the digits that are gonna do the work. So. You know, get yourself some great gear, get yourself some stuff that's going to be reliable and not break down on you and make sure you're going to have enough headroom in the mix in the band so your bass isn't distorting. That's another really common problem. Underpowered bass amps drive me nuts. You need a lot of headroom. You know, guitar players can turn up and have like a 50 watt amp and take your face off with it. That is not going to happen with a bass amp. You want headroom like me. I'd be personally looking at 300 watts and above probably. Um, to give me enough headroom so I'm not, you know, like cranking the amp way too much. Um, yeah. Anyway, guys, like hopefully this video has been useful for you, especially if you are a little confused about what to do with your EQ and where to go with that when you plug your bass in. Um, if you haven't been to scottsbassessons.com yet, make sure you go over there because it's what I do. We run 
um, the largest and coolest and most awesome online platform for bass players that are taking their bass playing to that next level. In a nutshell, it is the perfect online school for bass players where we release a brand new course each and every month from some of the best bass players in the world and me. And I give um, direct feedback via video exchange. Um, what else do we do? We do a live seminar every single week. Again, our faculty is amazing and consists of some of the best place, bass players in the world. And that is your chance to interact with them in real time. Like there's nothing ever that's existed like this before because you can study their co the, the courses that we've got in the course library. You can study them, but then you can also interact with those guys on a week to week basis as they come in and do live seminars ask them questions about the course, ask, if you're struggling with stuff, you can ask them. It really is um, something incredible that uh, the team and I are, are putting together over at scottsbassessons.com. So it will be amazing if you went and checked it out. Uh, and obviously, subscribe to the YouTube channel because I release new videos on here every single week and it will be amazing to have you as part of the Scott's Bass Lessons community. Other than that, guys, as always, take it easy and I'll see you in the shed. Whoa, 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 where are you going? If you haven't subscribed to the Scots Bass Lessons channel yet here on YouTube, click the link, subscribe. I release two videos like this every single week. You can also check out our other videos over there. And if you've not checked out scotsbasslessons.com membership, check it out. You can grab your 14-day free trial over there.